Hey everybody, this is Mike here, Mike's Weather Page, and uh, tropics are slowing down. There is a little something to talk about, believe it or not. I'll mention it at the end, but uh, this is all about severe weather coming for Tuesday, tomorrow, which is the 29th of November. We do have a pretty high probability we're going to see a severe weather outbreak, possible long track tornadoes, possible EF2 plus tornadoes extending uh, along that upper gulf coast uh, so it's pretty important to get the word out there kind of rare for this time of year uh, in the november early december to have this sort of setup um, but let me show you everything that's cooking here uh, for tomorrow these are going to get updated a little bit as we get closer uh, the spc storm prediction center generally uh, tweaks these maps but this is a pretty good guideline of what's happening uh, the area is in dark green into the yellow, orange, and red, definitely need to pay attention. These are the, the high, highest likelihood of supercells uh, developing. We have a very strong cold front coming down that is actually um, pushing in some, some cool air, pulling up some warm golf moisture. It's creating this um, you know, uh, environment that could produce these tornadoes. I'm going to show you a little bit more why that in a, in a second. Uh, a lot of people ask me all the time what the heck these uh, colors mean. I got this on the website. But just go into red, let's say widespread, severe storms likely, long-lived, widespread, intense. Uh, unfortunately, that means, you know, strong tornadoes possible. And uh, they could possibly go to a pink tomorrow. We'll see for Tuesday. But uh, we've seen tornado watches even in the dark green areas in the past. So, that, you know, it's pretty rare to get uh, orange and reds for a Storm Prediction Center like we're seeing right here um, for, for tomorrow, Tuesday. Uh, we're also seeing this here. This is your uh, tornado probability index for Tuesday, Tuesday night. Uh, hatched area, large hatched area from Louisiana diagonally up through Tennessee. Those are areas they believe that we could see EF2 or greater long track tornadoes. So it's a pretty large area. Uh, anybody in a brown likelihood will be under a tornado watch sometime tomorrow into tomorrow evening. And that's a large area from the Gulf all the way up to Kentucky. Uh, this line will extend itself a little bit um, into Tuesday night into Wednesday. They're not mentioning much about severe, you know, tornado type cells yet, but that is a large area of Florida Panhandle north, northeastward into Wednesday that we could still see a more tightening up classic squall line ahead of this cold front that's coming down. Uh, some of your radar, what it's going to look like tomorrow, for example. All right, so we get into tomorrow morning, Tuesday morning, we start to see these little cells start to pop up. Uh, we got rich gulf moisture that's flowing up from the gulf, and um, we're going to start to see these cells uh, tomorrow morning, Tuesday morning. You're going to start seeing the isolated cells, and it's hard to pinpoint exactly where they're going to be, but you can start to see them already on future radar. And then by tomorrow uh, afternoon, really starting to see widespread potential. Uh, and here's, you know, into tomorrow evening, you know, we're, they're talking about potential, maybe even nocturnal nighttime tornadoes. As we get into Wednesday morning, there's our uh, squall line setting up. This is Wednesday about 6 a.m. Uh, we can see a pretty good looking uh, squall line, Louisiana stretching all the way to Carolinas and Virginia. Um, but it's, it appears that the greatest threat for tornadoes and, and, and larger tornadoes are going to be tomorrow. Another map here we can look at, this is a significant tornado STP um, map from the uh, HRR and blues pretty much show you the areas. And um, we're starting to see that high probability likelihood here from Texas northeastward tomorrow. This is some of the maps that they use to uh, show the instability in the air. Uh, the reason this is happening, we got a subtropical jet stream. Uh, subtropical jet streams are a double jet stream, the main jet stream to the north, subtropical to the south. We have winds coming in from the southwest creating this sheared environment um, and then we at the same time we have uh, gulf moisture here coming in uh, out ahead of it with some warmer uh, dew points in the 70s so anytime you get warm 70s dew point uh, cross shear above and some lower level winds uh, you get this classic instability and potential for storms so there's a lot to watch uh, tomorrow tuesday so it's important to get the word out spread spread the word you know in that area upper gulf all the way to Tennessee, Kentucky, uh, we can see strong storms tomorrow, Tuesday. Have your weather radios ready, uh, phone alerts on, and, you know, just pay attention to the radar. And, of course, your local meteorologists will probably be on it, uh, covering it live. As far as the tropics go, I want to talk about this. Um, we got an odd little setup here. We got a high pressures here uh, pulling up some, some moisture from the Atlantic. And uh, anytime that you get 
uh, too high pressures like this, sometimes they can help spin up a little low pressure area. Uh, and then when we're getting actual uh, some models suggesting it, uh, this is the Euro probability map. Most of them just hang out right here. This is a Bermuda, well, well east of Bermuda here. But it could be Owen. It's the season. We've had uh, storms in the past. The timing for this would be next week, about this time frame. So could still see Owen out there. Not breaking news or anything, but uh, don't be surprised if we don't get a circle and start getting some talk about Atlantic tropical season. But there it is. Just so you heard it here first, possibly. <laughs> All right. All right, we'll watch this weather close for tomorrow, Tuesday, and uh, Tuesday evening, Tuesday night. See what, what we have cooking, all right? Have a great day. Bye-bye.